Test your might. Test your luck. <laughs> yes, shut up! One, fight! This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. So awkwardity, you would give it to the Southpaw. Yes. Yes. Music. Even though we know we know Fury is awkward as well. He can be awkward. Yeah. He can switch it, but well, I mean, we'll give Fury, it you know what, uh, Lady Chan, what's interesting about that Fury Cunningham fight that I remember is yeah. that the last four or five rounds, Fury just said, you know what, I'm gonna have to be the big bully. And he just started wrestling and grappling and smothering Cunningham. It wasn't really yeah, so much did. the punches. I oh, but the body weight that really got to him. Leaned, yeah, that's yeah. what Honey said. He said, he said, I was just drained, and he just started to like basically manhandle, like you know, elbows and forearms, and I remember that fight, and it was just like, yeah, and then just drained him and knocked him out. So, and and the ref, you know, didn't didn't stop it and didn't say no, that's not on. So, um, like Steve said, if you get away with it. Uh, you do what you can get away with, and he got away with that. If the ref ain't refing, what do you what do you do? Um, also, um, okay, ring IQ who, out of the best. Shout you know, out to they Junior. both have a very high ring IQ. I, I would call that a draw. Yeah. They're both okay. very smart, intelligent mm -hmm. fighters. Who has the better ring generalship then? Usyk. Well. I would say Usyk because he's a little shiftier. He's had to be more strategic as a heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. So we can safely say that Usyk comes up comes up on top. We said on speed, mental, yes. fundamentals, uh, stamina to equal, power for Fury, liquidity for Usyk, ring IQ even, and ring generalship Usyk. So Usyk looks like he's leading. So. When I look at these this type of data, I, that's what makes me make my prediction that he can beat Fury. But Lady Chan, there is a variable. Oh, there's a variable. Go ahead. One I guy's forty five pounds heavier. <laughs> Don't forget that. If he, oh yeah, but also chins. They both got great chins, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. They they both and look. I like look. I like the fact that Usyk has grown into being a heavyweight because I remember watching him against Chaz Witherspoon, God. and I'm thinking, is this going to work? No, no. And then against AJ, especially, I thought the first fight he was a little bit sharper, to be honest with you. I was really yeah, impressed was. how yeah. he beat AJ in front of a really rabid crowd in England. Um, the second fight I actually thought was closer. I give AJ credit because coming into that 10th round, I was like, ooh. Yeah, this, this fight's in the balance. That was yeah, it was much it was much better. Um, but also it was kind of like how even Derek Chisora had the first good three rounds, you know, Derek Chisora right. only had three rounds in the fight against him. And that was I was like, oh, we could see Usyk looking quite vulnerable there. But I mean, look how big Derek Chisora is, another like like maybe 25 pounds more than maybe even 35 pounds more than Usyk. And um, he he couldn't drop him. No, and that's the thing with with Usyk has great ring character. He knows mm. how to overcome, and I I really think the fact that he's been such a road warrior, nothing's going to intimidate him in terms of the atmosphere or having to look. I don't think even having a hundred thousand British fans that are theoretically most of them are going to be rooting against him will bother him. I really he don't. He is such stoic. a seasoned fighter. Yeah, he don't care about that. Yeah, he's stoic, and you know, and there are, and there are, they still going to have. We still got a very uh, a high population of uh, and growing population of Ukrainians here as well. So you know, he's going to have, he's going to have a lot of support, and he's still going to have some support by some Brits as well. Some Brits would be like, "Oh, I don't mind Fury." Well, I know him. one. I'm talking to one right now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 
exactly. So I'm like, I'm rooting for, I'm rooting for Usyk. To be fair, <laughs> I am. Like, if Fury wins, so be it. If Usyk wins, so be it. But I, I, I'm, but just with my, just analyzing. Okay, style for style. I know that this is really hard. For, it's hard for both of them, but in different ways. But it's hard for Fury more than you know, more than people wanna you know, talk about, you know, they want to act like nothing's hard for Fury. So, Lady Chan, could you yeah. imagine? So let's say worst case scenarios. Let's go, let's give this to the end of the weekend before we completely pull the plug on it. Yes. But how do you think the public in the UK specifically will react if the two sides break apart and let's say Usyk fights the juggernaut and let's say Tyson Fury fights Andy Ruiz? How do you think the public in the UK will react? Well, the public in the UK right now, he's got some of his fans, his die-art fans, and I'm seeing it happen, which I didn't think I'd see that light of day like that. They're all calling Fury, like they're calling him out. They're saying, Whoa. you know, you're very disappointing. I can't support you anymore. You're ducking Usyk. I've looked everywhere, like under his posts, under if you go under IFL posts and have a look, Steve, yourself, uh, you'll see the general UK tone has changed quite wow. a lot. On Fury, a lot, a lot, a lot. Wow. Yeah, we're already they're already turning some of them. I mean, okay. you always gonna have to die hard, die the ones that don't care what he does. He's still the best things like. But I mean, I'm seeing some really and and people that I know and their names that I know are really diehard fans, and I've seen them in the comments like saying this isn't good enough. I mean, if you watch like Fight Disciples, they're calling him out. They're like, this is this is disgraceful, and under their comments. People are like this is disgraceful with Fury. They are so the you general know, tone is what I'm saying is already changing even without. Yeah, I think I saw something on Twitter, um, um, from Adam Catterall. I got to give him credit. He let his hands go, and I with, said, "Wow, you must never want to interview Tyson Fury." And I respect that because who, who said that? Sorry, I Adam, missed that. Adam Catterall? Yeah, Adam Catterall from Fight Oh, Disciple. my God. He let his hands go, Lady Chan. And, and I just said to myself, I respect that guy. And I'll tell you why. So many pundits are so afraid to be critical because they don't want to lose access. It, it right. kills me. Me, I've decided I don't ever want access. Just let me say what the hell I want. I get it. Because I'm kind of phasing my way out of this anyway. But I have to give Adam Catterall credit because I know that as a British journalist, that ain't going to play well in a lot of circles. So thumbs up no. to Adam. Good job there. Yeah. Shouts out to him because and, – and, and the thing is, he's quite – he's always been quite supportive of Tyson Fury as well. Always been massively supportive with uh, Tyson Fury. But at the end of the day, man, you can't have – the fighters can't hold us to our, us to the, our feet to the fire. Uh, oh, we won't get an interview. All right, then, but someone else will. I, I couldn't care less, to be fair. I already know I'm already banned on Fury's uh, team. Like, I can't get media access. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing that's that is so, so disappointing about today's modern boxing coverage is that if you do not act basically as a pom-pom waving publicist, you don't get access. So, Lady Chan, in your position, I'd say, you know what? Then don't ever give me access. Let me have yeah. the freedom of speech that I crave. Yeah, I don't, yeah I'm going to say what I want to say. I, I couldn't care less. Couldn't care. Let's give this... Uh, we got another super chat here. Yeah, I couldn't care less, Steve. I really don't care. I'll say what I want to say at the end of the day. Well done. Outstanding. Impressive. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, one, fight.